Look at the lawnmower stroke. We need to recycle this can. What? to Freedom One Garage. Today it's a little bit cold and snowy outside so we're gonna be going in the shop but recently the orange truck or the shop truck has been giving us a lot of issues kind of so it's about ready to finally go under the knife and get bumped up in line for its engine swap so while it's cold outside and it's not drivable figured we would uh, do some work to it. So today we're going to be making a custom, I guess, headliner for it. So, this here is our headliner. It's pulled out of the truck. It's a dent side single cab headliner. Um, really not in that bad of shape. It's got one crack back here. It's kind of taped on the back, but it's really old and might retape that when we're done. But then here, hanging in this doorway, I'll explain that in a second why it's hanging, but is a uh, American Blue Lion flag. Something that we kind of support and I like it. I like the look of it. Was that our plain American flag? And uh, yeah, so we're going to be making that our headliner today. I'm going to show you how to do that because uh, I haven't seen too many people out there do it. Some people have done it, but I figured I'd show you how. So, Alright, yeah. so first things first, this headliner, you can't really see it on my finger, but it's pretty dusty. We live on gravel roads. This truck is super old. It's an old farm truck, so over time, it's gotten a little bit dusty in there, right with the windows down. So here we've got our spray away foaming ammonia-free glass cleaner, which, of course, works for everything. Just a little bit on there. Don't want to completely ruin it. Because it is pretty much cardboard, and then just the microfiber kind of dusts it off, I think. Without too much pressure, so I don't rip it up. Because it does kind of have a coating or texture or whatever this side of it. So, now, why is our flag hanging from the doorway? Well, I will tell you. First, it is just your basic 3 by 5 flag to fly on any flagpole bought it off Amazon it's a brand that I've used before I have bought one for uh, doing fun stuff in town and it was pretty decent so I figured I'd buy it again cheap decent quality yeah just your standard 3 by 5 flag fits over the headliner um, I guess I can show you that here in a second but it's hung up there because when they ship them they fold them up into little squares and it leaves all these wrinkles and creases and stuff in there so we still have our handy dandy steamer tool from putting the headliner in our 68 falcon goldie which is still for sale by the way and we're going to try and steam it out to get it as flat as possible so that we can get it on this headliner and it will look so, nice so what we're going to do is at least for now see if it works take our flag steam it get it all flat and then we'll lay it over here and use our automotive headliner adhesive, which is worked good. We use that in the Falcon as well. And just spray it down on here and glue the flag to the headliner pretty much. So that is the plan. This is the time lapse part, editor note.
Time and Netflix on the TV. We have gotten to where I think I'm going to pretty much call it good. I mean, it's not perfect. There's still some little spots in there, but it's pretty much done here. Pretty smooth. Again, not perfect, but much better than what it was. And once it's pulled tight around the headliner, I think it should look okay. So, next thing we're going to do, I think, is kind of pull it down off of here and get it positioned where we want on this headliner. Alright, real quick. I'll open up your phone, or not your phone, my phone here. And I'll show you the picture I'm basing this off of. I saw this a while ago. This is from another YouTuber's video um, by the Craig 909 on YouTube. And, ooh, little battery. That, if you can tell, is basically what I'm going off of here. So it looks like he put his stars, and some of these other guys put their stars in the back driver's side area. I guess it really doesn't matter, but... I don't know, maybe it'll look better one way or another. So basically, I did have to measure, but your headliner will fit a standard 3x5 flying flag. So really, you could put whatever flag you would want to on here. Um, so yeah, about like that. Get it kind of smooth on here. Now, one thing that we are kind of worried about with this project is again all that we're going to use to hold it up for right now is this automotive adhesive headliner glue which will eventually wear off it should last for a while but eventually it's gonna get old and not stay up anymore so i may um get a piece of plexiglass and cut it and put it over this so then it'll not only hold it up better and be completely tight, but it will also be kind of glossy. But we'll see because this board isn't completely flat. It's got kind of curves on the edges and stuff, so we will see. But now, time has come to glue this puppy down. Now, if you can see me here, I've hung the flag back up on the doorway over there, which you can't see, but... Now we are going to shake the crap out of this heavy duty automotive headliner adhesive and then spray it down on here. I might have to lay some blankets down. This stuff's really, really sticky, so I don't want to get it on anything else. So maybe we'll find some old sheets or something here to protect the floor so mom does not kill me. about good now we are going to have to spray both the headliner and the side of the flag that is going to go down so we're gonna have to keep that in mind um but yeah so here we go this is not spraying very wide this might take a little bit Bumped into you there, my bad. There, just gonna make sure I got glue on everything pretty much. And then I'll switch over to the flag. Oh, I got some on my fingers, it's stinging. Alright, now you're going to watch me struggle to spray this onto the flag while it's hanging. I don't feel like laying it down and you're not know, supposed to put a log in the ground and stuff. So, yeah, and hopefully I don't get any of the house glue. I do. Don't tell anyone. The stars are a lot nicer on this side. They're kind of tore up. So, uh, this is the side that we're going to glue down. Oh 
halfway. You can't really tell that flag is covered in glue. This thing will not be flying anytime soon, um, but it's gonna look great as our headliner, hopefully. So now I'm just gonna do one or two more little coats on both these, and then we're gonna lay it down, I guess? Ooh, I don't know. All right, quick little update. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not being as uniform now with my springs. I'm trying to speed this up. This is not fun. Also, the sheets are sticky in spots. Who would have thought? So every once in a while, I get stuck in my feet, and it's kind of hard to escape. So yeah, we're out. All right. Too bad the lawnmower's broken. We need to recycle this can. Well, never mind. It's empty. Actually, it does have a marble in it. Shoot. Okay, everyone, I called that over here, and now we're going to try to attach this flag to the headliner. See how it goes. Also, your hands are probably going to get sticky. You're definitely going to have to wash your hands. Is our final product. This is what is gonna go in the truck. Now you may notice we made some oopsies. Quite a few oopsies. She is far from perfect. But you know what? It doesn't look terrible. And we learned from it. Really, if we want to do this again in another truck, then we know how to do it right. At least we we got it fairly level and stuff and it's it's looking okay so i think all right everybody thanks for stopping by and watching our video if you made it this far that is awesome this is our finished product and i guess this video is how to or maybe even how not to uh make a custom ford pickup headliner um if you enjoyed this if you would leave a like or a comment on any ideas or anything, that would be great. Very helpful for us. We have Facebook and Instagram if you'd like to go follow those. And just stay tuned to the channel if you'd like. We've got all kinds of cars and neat projects and things to keep working on. So we will see you on the next one.